26-year-old Peoria woman killed someone in a fatal crash, then left the scene. But this week, that hit-and-run driver was sentenced to weeks, not years, in jail. It's Thursday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Caitlin Canute. It's a sentence that has the victim's loved ones crying for justice. And tonight, new details on where the driver was before that fatal crash. Caitlin Pearson has more in tonight's top story. Caitlin? Farmington Road looks much different today than it did back in January, but it's a scene that still brings back painful memories for those who knew John Lackey. It's hard to believe that the last steps that he took was over here, and the last person he saw was her. John Lackey was hit by a car and killed in January, here on West Farmington Road around 2.30 a.m. Charlene Liebarger still had a strong relationship with her former husband. John was the heart of us all because he was the glue that stuck us together. And then just having to go every day without that, that glue that stuck us together, it's, it's very difficult to just step up and like, oh yeah, you know, it gets better when it doesn't get better, it gets harder. Amanda Boyer pleaded guilty to leaving the scene. Liebarger says there's been no justice. They're just showing that, hey, because of your negligence, it, you're just going to basically get a slap on the wrist. In police reports from the Peoria County Sheriff's Office, surveillance video shows Lackey leaving Pulse nightclub and walking down Farmington. He was seen walking in and out of the roadway. His autopsy showed a blood alcohol level of 0.276, but no shots captured the moment he was hit. Their big break in the case came when a man with Boyer that night contacted police. When questioned, she admitted to hitting Lackey, but thought she saw him moving, so she drove away. She admitted to being at more than one bar that evening, but claimed she only had around four drinks spread across a number of hours. The tipster told officers Boyer had more than what she told police. Video from one bar shows Boyer, quote, appears to lose her balance a few times while dancing and talking with people. You can watch these videos and you can assume one way or another, but how can you through this video, determine whether or not someone is legally intoxicated or not. Can you count the number of drinks? Uh, even in the video, it's limited pictures there. You, you can just show someone being at the establishment. So is that sufficient enough to establish that someone was intoxicated? No, not, not for, for prosecution. Her full 75-day sentence here at the Peoria County Jail, and then we'll have 30 months of probation. For now, reporting in Peoria County. Caitlin Pearson, back to you. Thank you, Caitlin. And we did reach out to the Peoria County State's Attorney's Office for comment on this case, but so far they have not returned our calls.